just to recap, trademark protects branding and marks. Uh, it gives you the right to prevent others from using confusingly similar ma marks and logos. It lasts as long as you use the mark. The more you use it, the stronger your protection. And there are country-by-country country laws that kind of define trademark, and it's optional to register it, but it has significant advantages if it's approved. Copyright just gives you the right to prevent others from copying or distributing or making derivatives of your work. And you could copyright more than just technology. It's what we do for songs, books, movies, etc. It lasts practically forever, but doesn't prevent independent development. Someone else could uh, do something independently and come up with something quite similar. You could register it as optional, but it's required to sue for infringement. And sometimes you see copyright labeled on the bottom of something with a little C with a circle. That means somebody is claiming that this is their original work and uh, uh, suggesting that you need their license or permission to make a copy. Trade secrets, as we talked about, you want to keep that uh, secret and it has economic value. No registration is required. It's basically how safe do you think um, your idea is going to be inside your company protected with armed guards in a vault. It can last for as long as you take reasonable steps. Contracts. Again, it's everything that's in the contract, no registration process. You have water protection is defined in the contract. Now, patents are interesting. A patent is a government is giving you a monopoly by preventing others from making, using, or selling your invention, even if the other's infringement was innocent or accidental. And this has to be a non-obvious invention. It has to last, uh, the protection lasts for about 15 to 20 years. And there's a whole application and examination process and uh, it's worth you getting up to date and understanding about patents early on. Very rough rule of thumb is if you're in Web 2.0, you probably shouldn't be spending a lot of time on patents, though there are exceptions. If you're in life sciences, in the other extreme, you shouldn't leave your bedroom uh, without a patent counsel walking you out. There are some rules of thumb for each industry um, and each market, and you really need to spend at least an hour before you start your company understanding what rules uh, apply.